first Front Royal Women's Resource No Breakfast Breakfast. Thank you so much for joining us um, on this little adventure that we're taking right now. I'm Barbara Way, and I'm the Executive Director of the Front Royal Women's Resource Center. And every month during National Women's History Month, we actually have our wonderful breakfast where we celebrate all our fabulous Dare to Dream grantees. Normally, we're sitting with our coffee in the beautiful location of Shenandoah Valley Golf Club. Um, it has a beautiful location. We overlook the Shenandoah Valley, but here we are all in our home. So thank you for joining us. I hope you have at least your coffee and maybe your breakfast and join us in this virtual celebration. Um, I'd like to spend just a minute telling you who we are. Uh, we are a 501c3 and have been since 1998. And our mission is to support women in our community through programs, information and education. And um, our vision is to empower women to change their world. And one of our favorite ways to do that actually is through our Dare to Dream grants. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about that in a minute and explain what those are. But I'd like to go back and just mention again, it is, it is National Women's History Month. And the theme is Valiant Women of the Vote. And that means that we're celebrating the 19th Amendment of August 26, 1920, and the women who fought for it. So we're honoring both the women from the original suffrage movement and all the women in the 20th and the 21st century that have really fought and struggled to continue to ensure voting rights for all. So um, welcome, thank you. This is our theme also for our Spotlight on Women program. And hopefully you'll check out our webpage, Facebook, our weekly email blasts. Um, we'll keep you updated on all the events, uh, whether they're virtual or not. We will figure that out as we go along. And in the meantime, I really want to get to the point of the program, is, which is to celebrate our Dare to Dream grant program and our Dare to Dreamers. So to do that, I'm gonna to introduce to you our founder of both the Front Royal Women's Resource Center and of our Dare to Dream grants, Joellen McNeil. Welcome, Joellen. Good morning, Barb. Thank you for that wonderful introduction. And I just wanna thank you. I wanna take a minute out before we get into Dare to Dream to say thank you so much to you and Tina and Jen for making this happen. Um, a couple of us on this uh, camera today are Luddites, so it's been a challenge <laughs> to get all of us figured out how we could hear each other, um, but it's happened, and I just can't thank you two enough for all the work you do. So thanks, Barb, and here we are this morning. It's extraordinary times, and so it's um, we're doing new experiences, and it's, it's good, and it's a beautiful morning. So welcome, everyone. Um, as Barb said, I've been around here for a long time, from the beginning, as a matter of fact. Well, uh, the Women's Resource Center, that is. And um, I was remembering that our first breakfast was back in 1997. So this is the 23rd year of having one of our Dare to Dream breakfasts. And I'm so glad we still get to have it. So we have this unbroken line of breakfast. Um, and it seems like, I don't know why, but we always get these beautiful mornings for these breakfasts. So I think that's, that's a real, um, I don't know, good luck sign. Anyway, today we are celebrating nine women who have received the grants today. Um, I'm going to later reduce, uh, introduce Rebecca Vaughn, who's been chair of this committee for uh, a lot of years. And uh, she will tell you about these women. But I'm going to do just a little brief history now for the moment. Um, we gave our first grant, so two years after we had our first breakfast in 97, in 1999, we awarded our first Dare to Dream grant. And it was for $500, and it was given to one woman who was attending classes at Lord Fairfax, and she wanted to upgrade her computer. So we started very humbly. And from that beginning, we've come to where we are today, where we're able to grant nine grants um, of 600 to $1,000, and <clears throat> one of our grants is actually $1,500 now. 
So that's been um, really a gift. And we couldn't have done it without all of our generous members and community partners. So we owe it all to you. Thank you so much. And I've just blacked out here. Oh, there we go again. So here we are. Um, anyway, I wanted to tell you a little bit about you know, where this started, which was just with one woman's story. And you, from there it's grown. What we really wanted to do was honor women who wanted to move forward in their lives. And if that was starting a new business, if that was going back to college, if it was, that was attending college for the first time, sometimes women have been in their 40s, they got out of high school, um, they started right in with a family, and it wasn't until their kids were fairly grown that they could go back to school. So we've helped many women in that situation. We've helped many single mothers um, who are struggling so hard to raise their kids and be a wonderful example for their children. So it's just been um, really a privilege to listen and to meet these women and to listen to their stories over all these years. You know, and I just want to say it takes a lot of courage even just to apply for this grant um, because you have to come up with a dream and you have to clarify your goals. So even if we aren't able to grant everybody's wish this in one year, um, we really honor everybody who participates in this program. So it's just really been um, amazing. So I wanted to give you a couple statistics. As of this year with our nine new grantees, we have been able to award 143 grants and scholarships and totaling $112,000. Um, so that's, we are very, very proud of that. And again, thank you all for helping us to be able to do this. Um, now I would like to just introduce the um, chair of our Dare to Dream committee, and uh, she's sitting right here. We're going to do an li interesting little roll through because we're trying to honor our six feet apart thing. Uh, her name is Rebecca Vaughn, as I mentioned previously. She has had a therapy practice here in town for, gosh, Rebecca, 30 years? Uh, yes. Oops. Yes. Well, say 1994. 1994. And um, so that's remarkable. She's a wonderful therapist, so if anyone wants to contact her, <laughs> she's in the phone book. <laughs> um, and she's going to tell us about our grantees. Thank you, Rebecca, for all the work you've been doing over the years. Here we roll. Here we roll. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Good morning, everyone. Um, very wonderful to be here. Uh, in this format, it's interesting in these times that we're in. Um, I just wanted to say that having been involved with the Dare to Dream program for nine years and actually a chair for eight years, I have been so impressed as I have over the years been able to read uh, different applica applications and to interview the different uh, ap applicants that we have chosen to interview and then to actually be able to to uh, give them a grant, but it, it is, I've been very impressed with the amount of talent and imagination that women in Warren County have, uh, along with the many women who have grounded businesses um, that they developed and that they run as they pursue their hopes and dreams. So again, we live in a very, uh, a community, there we go. Okay, what's happening? I don't know. Tina. Just hit the, did that work? Gone. Tina, we just got blacked out of here. <laughs> Somehow your phone rang on the barrier. Oops, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're still live, everybody. Keep talking. Here we go. Hi. You're still going. I, of course, didn't know what to do. So, but again, just uh, very impressed with the, uh, the, the, again, the depth and the breadth of imagination and talent of women in our community. So, uh, the I wanted to introduce one of these women who was our 2019, uh, dare, a 2019 Dare to Dream Grant winner, uh, Kate Fresco, Frisco is her name. 
And um, she's going to be here to speak about her grant, but I wanted to just do a little introduction. Uh, Kate has pursued her path as an artist for 10 plus years. In 2016, she began to screen print and create apparel of her designs. Uh, she then developed her t-shirt business, which quickly became a success in the community. The Resource Center awarded her a grant in 2019 to fund the startup costs uh, needed to grow her business. So just gonna say her dream uh, is to share beautiful things with the world through design and illustration. And her t-shirts are absolutely fabulous. And I just wanna say along with the designs, they feel so good. So I'm gonna hand it over to Kate. Thank you, Rebecca. Good morning. My name is Kate Fristo. Um, I own a screen printing and design business, like she said. Um, it's called Wild World Designs. I first want to say how honored I am that I was asked to come on here and share my Dare to Dream experience with you all. Um, I first heard about the grant and the Women's Resource Center through my aunt. Uh, she knew I had this sort of dream, kind of a hobby, kind of a dream um, that I wanted to turn into reality, and she suggested that I apply as a way to just get the ball rolling. Um, if I'm being honest with you, I was anxious and terrified. Um, I, it was a big hump to get over, but I swallowed my fear and I put myself out there. And the next thing you know, I got the call to come in for an interview. Of course, I was terrified again. But honestly, the thing that I remember the most about that day was leaving the interview room feeling like it didn't even matter if I got the award or not because I was just so inspired and lifted up by these women and they've been so unbelievably supportive and helpful and even gave me suggestions in the interview for ideas, resources, contacts. Um, so thank you, ladies. I love all of you. Um, I was then stunned when I got the letter saying that I received the grant, of course. Um, my main goal with the, the money was to get supplies and shirts um, for a startup. And those have since sold out and been restocked 10 times over. Um, I was also able to then launch my website, which was a huge goal of mine um, and a major push forward. So generally the grant just fueled me and gave me momentum and confidence and um, it was just so beautiful and here a year later I'm here still going strong so um, in the last year I've sold over a hundred t-shirts through my website I did um, Sammy Khan at Samuels Public Library I did the Festival of Leaves um, I plan on doing more festivals um, seeing what happens this season um, and I even sold some at the breakfast last year, which was really unexpected, but awesome. Um, so I also put out 22 new original designs, which is amazing. It surpassed my goal for the year. And I've done tons of custom orders for groups and businesses. And I've gotten um, even some design work like logos, website elements, which I have a little bit of background in as well. Um, so I've just made some really great connections and received a lot of support in our community. And um, it all started with this thing that was really outside of my comfort zone. So I just wanna say congrats to this year's recipients. Um, I'm so proud of all of you. And I wanna tell you that sometimes growth can be really, really uncomfortable, but I promise you it's worth it because that's where the real magic happens. So keep doing your thing and chasing your dreams. Thanks. Thank you, Kate. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. And I want to mention Kate's website is wildworlddesigns.com.com. And you should check it out because, again, her T-shirts are just her designs are beautiful. And again, I just want to mention how good the, uh, the material feels. So I wanted to do a few thank yous. Um, first, going to thank the Dare to Dream Committee. Uh, we put a lot of hard work in uh, into reading the applications. We received 25 applications this year. And it is, um, it's a tough job to try to sort out 
who we're going to interview and then of course uh, to interview and then figure out with the money that we have who we how much we have and how we're going to distribute it um but again we always at the end we feel good because we we feel that the the projects that we do fund are very worthy uh, also want to say thank you to Tina Estes, who is the office administrator, who totally takes care of the whole project from beginning to end. Don't know what we would do without Tina. So, Also want to thank, uh, we got, received a very generous grant from the Warren County Rotary, which has allowed us to both give a number of grants this year, uh, along with adding to our endowed funds for future grants. So thank you, Warren County Rotary. All right. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to present the 2020 Dare to Dream grant recipients, um, but also uh, the full their full profiles are on our website. So you can uh, view that, and I think you can view that even now uh, during this broadcast. So first we have Diana Searcy. Uh, she, in 2016, Diana co-founded a nonprofit that developed Healing Hearts toolboxes. Uh, she developed the toolboxes and workshops that she provided to teens and adults in Prince William and Fauquier County. We're lucky for her to, we're lucky that she has moved to Warren County. Uh, because she wants to uh, continue her work in our schools in Warren County. The toolboxes consist of art supplies and tools for self-expression for emotional healing. We have awarded Diana $900 to purchase supplies for the toolboxes. Next, we have Mary Cook. Mary has established a thriving arts and nature summer program for kids at the Isaac Walton League. She's also opened a studio space in Front Royal where she plans to offer art experiences year round. Mary's workshops focus on process rather than product. Her dream is to eventually offer free arts experiences to children and adults in need. Mary has been awarded $900 to purchase materials for mobile, mobile arts workshops. Amanda Horn. Amanda Horn is an artist. She does beautiful paintings and murals in the area. Her dream is to become ever more successful as she shares her paintings with others. Amanda has been awarded $1,000 to purchase a portable display system to show her art at various art venues. And then here we have our own Eka Capiotis. Uh, as you all know, uh, Eka is no stranger to our organization. She has been a helping and healing force amongst us for many, many years. Eka's dream is to become a certified cranial sacral therapist at the very highest level, that of diplomat. Uh, this is going to involve her uh, taking courses and doing testing and travel as well. Eka has been awarded $600 to apply to the cost of certification towards her goal of becoming uh, a cranial sacral therapist at the very highest level. Megan LeCompte. Megan recently completed her studies to become an LPN. Now she's taking classes at ECPI University to become an RN. Megan has been awarded $1,000 for school expenses towards her degree as a registered nurse. Laura Ruby. Laura has been contributing to our community for many years, volunteering in schools, for in youth sports leagues, Girl Scouts, the Humane Society, and Reaching Out Now, which is a program for at-risk middle school girls. In 2017, she opened Ruby Yoga in Front Royal. 
She wishes to continue her training specifically in kids yoga and in trauma-informed yoga. Laura has been awarded $600 to help her pay for her training. Taylor Fletcher. Taylor is a nursing student at Lord Fairfax Community College. Her dream is to become a nurse practitioner. Taylor has been awarded $1,000 for tuition at Lord Fairfax Community College for her studies to become a nurse practitioner. And then we have Mia Kaufman. Mia is in her junior year at the University of Lynchburg where she is working towards a degree in special education. Mia has been awarded $600 for tuition for, for her education. And finally, we have our Elaine Bromfield Memorial Scholarship recipient. The Elaine Bromfield Memorial Scholarship is a scholarship given in the memory of Elaine Bromfield, who was a, who was a passionate advocate for women's rights in our community. The first one was given in 2012 to women who pursue higher education. So this year's recipient is Megan Vardaman, and Megan has been awarded $1,500 towards her goal for a master's degree in counseling to serve women who have experienced birth trauma. Again, the uh, Elaine Bromfield Scholarship will go towards her college education at Lord Fairfax Community College. All right, and thank you to all these uh, wonderful women for their dreams and the pursuit of their dreams. And again, we congratulate you, all right? Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much, Rebecca, that was wonderful. Um, I wanna mention that one of the things we wished we could do is have each and every one of these fabulous women who we've given grants to, um, to meet you. So um, our plan is to, over the next coming months, we will do online um, interviews and videos of each of these women to really um, give you that connection to them. Uh, one of the things we love about the breakfast is that it does deepen our connection, it inspires us, and it just, all, lifts all of us up. And hopefully in this way, we can, um, you can really understand what their dreams are and hopefully support them throughout this process. Right now, what I'd like to do is talk a little bit about our other grant for middle school girls, which is the Girl Grant, um, now the Kim South Girl Grant. So the Girl Grant was initiated in 2006 by longtime FRWRC member, Mary Ellen South. I hope Mary Ellen's watching today. Um, I'd like to just give her a really deep thank you for creating this program, which has just taken off. So this program is in memory of her daughter. And in 2015, we renamed it the Kim South Girl Grant in honor of her daughter. Um, who was basically um, caught in, you know, in that middle school age where girls so often lose themselves. Um, so this grant is really to inspire future leadership, curiosity, confidence, success, everything you need, um, basically empowering these young girls at a crucial time in their life. This year's recipient of the Kim South Girl Grant is reaching out now. Um, it was mentioned a little bit before, but this is a fabulous program. And to talk about this program, I'd like to introduce you to the founders, um, the program's founder and director, Samantha Barber. Samantha. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Ms. Barbara, for uh, this great introduction. Um, we are so, so grateful 
uh, to be able to partner with the Front Row Women Resource Center and to uh, be the recipient of the Kim South grant. Um, it's funny how things come full circle because um, understanding what uh, what it means to be at a point in your life where you are hurting and um, you're you're feeling down, and uh, you know to be the recipient of this um, grant to be able to be paving the way for these young girls um, at Skyline Middle School is truly an honor and a blessing, and we feel like we're we're truly carrying on a legacy um, of what you got, what you ladies have started. And um, the organization, uh, we met Joyce, who's the, the president of Front Row Women Resource Center, uh, just a little while ago um, and last year, and where I had the opportunity to present uh, Reaching Out Now. And uh, just in meeting Joyce, a relationship was established and I was able to uh, have the opportunity to meet the other ladies and just truly honored and blessed uh, to um, to be able to carry on the work that you guys have started. And so thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, to talk a little bit about Reaching Out Now um, and our program, as Ms. Barber said, we are paving the way for our young girls um, starting at Skyline Middle School. And we are empowering them to lead we're empowering them to know that their true potential is within reach and they can be successful. Uh, we recently had a career day at the middle school and one of our girls uh, texted me and said, you know, I'm so glad that this program is here. I used to worry about if I would have college and now I'm not that worried. Um, and just the work that not just myself, but front, the ladies from Front Row Women Resource Center, our board of directors, um, we you know put in the work to support these young girls. And thank you to uh, you know Mr. Uh, Johnston at Skyline Middle School for allowing us to come in the first and third Wednesday of every month to work with these girls. Uh, we currently have 18 girls in the program. Uh, we meet the first and third Wednesday of every month, and we uh, use a framework uh, that is comprised of college and career readiness, uh, community leadership, uh, academic literacy, financial literacy, and character development. And we are actually just coming out of our college and career readiness uh, framework of our curriculum. Um, kind of, it's kind of bittersweet this week because uh, the girls actually was supposed to be in a sitter class today and a CPR class with Warren County Memorial Hospital. And um, yesterday, uh, the plan was actually to take them to uh, James Madison University for a day. Um, and all that, uh, of course, have been canceled because of the, you know, the hurtful pandemic that our nation is facing. Uh, but we are so truly looking forward to continuing this this great work uh, over the next couple months. Uh, the board will be meeting to uh, prepare for next school year. And what's really amazing is that we will be moving on to Skyline High School. Uh, so not only will we, will we be following the eighth graders uh, that is going to be in ninth grade, but we will be creating a curriculum for the students in ninth, 10th and 11th grade. And um, again, I must say, Joyce and the board of directors of Front Royal Women Resource Center, they believed in us and they gave us this grant that gave us the boost to start this initiative. Uh, we were able to feed the girls uh, meals, uh, not just snacks, but meals every Wednesday that they meet. Uh, we've taken them on field trips. Uh, they had a field trip at Heaven, the salon experience. Over the holidays, they went to the Bull Run Festival of Lights in Fairfax. Um, and we've been giving um, uh, things to the Warren County uh, Rotary Club. Uh, they have also given us a, a, a grant to take the girls on the college field trips, uh, of course, which we still have. So it's, we just wanna thank you. Thank you to you ladies. Thank you to our community. Uh, 
thank you for school community for um, supporting us and we are truly looking forward to doing more and helping more young girls as you guys continue to champion us uh, through this process. So thank you so much. Thank you, Samantha. Thank you, Samantha. I, you know, I just want to say that you actually fulfilled one of our dreams with this program. Uh, you know, it is something we've talked about, you know, when we started this grant, when Mary Ellen started this grant, um, we reached out to a few girls here and there. And what you've done is just expand it. And I know, you know, you're, you're working with Skyline. You know, the next step is to work with Warren County Middle School. And thank you from the bottom of our hearts because we're so excited that this is a program that really touches all these young girls and just keeps growing. So we're gonna keep supporting you. Thank you, thank you. Um, now I, I'd like to wrap up a little bit and I just want to say thank you. Um, thank you for all of us who've tuned in for helping us to honor and celebrate these amazing women during these incredible challenging times. As you can see, we're all finding new ways to reach out. And, um, you know, reaching out is about connecting and strengthening not only ourselves and our families, but our community and our world. And I know it feels now that our personal worlds are becoming smaller. And, you know, we need to keep ourselves safe and others safe. So that's good. But this is a way and there are other ways that we have to expand and to include the communities throughout the world and throughout this entire planet. We really are all in this together. Um, so I wanna just thank everyone for your contributions. I want to thank you for making it a priority to make a difference in women's lives. And I wanna send just a deep and heartfelt thank you from all of us to all of you. I hope you'll check us out. Um, we have events that we're gonna keep on rolling and figuring it out on our website, um, frwrc.org. We have our, obviously our Facebook and we have our weekly email blast. Um, so I hope this gave you a little piece of how beautiful and inspiring all these women are and what our breakfast really does when we're all together. So hopefully you got a piece of that in your living room and Love to you all. Thank you so much. Bye. first Front Royal Women's Resource No Breakfast Breakfast. Thank you so much for joining us um, on this little adventure that we're taking right now.